Yeah. Okay. There's a quick clip outside. Alright, it's a quick clip, a quick video for you guys outside. Alright. I'm here. You can see the mirror there. <laughs> mirror. Yeah. Big building space here at the bottom of a college building. Alright. Basically, I want to talk to you guys about self-respect quickly. Alright. Very, very important. Everybody watching. Um, hello again. Thanks for joining me. It's me, Wushu Richard. Um, I was thinking about something around how important self-respect is. Okay. Wherever you go, right, I want to remind you something. Okay. I'm trying to speak quietly here without shouting my head off because my voice is echoing through the building. But I want to say, um, never forget self-respect. I made a video for you guys before talking. If you remember, I did make a video for you before talking about. Um, excuse me. Talking about how. Um, we should like follow ourselves basically and not always you know follow others all the time you know it's good to be to have your own mind you know and basically I'm just covering that topic again briefly I want to just basically say that no matter where you go no matter who you who you're confronted with people wise in the world big groups of people or single individuals or wherever you are uh, even in different cultures, different backgrounds, different jobs, different environments, under pressure too, even people who like think they're above you or whatever it may be, whatever kind of position, I mean, there are positions and stuff in society, but you want to remember we're all the same really. You put yourself in what position is, you've got to believe in yourself. And I really believe right, that self-belief and uh, self-understanding is the most important thing. You don't need to always change for other people, you don't always need to adapt and watch your step and change just to fit in with everybody or beg for their respect as such. In your, ac in your actions, just try to follow their way of thinking, follow their steps and all that. It's not the way to go. It really isn't the way to go, okay? No matter what happens, yeah, you might stumble along the way, you might face challenges, you may even pay a little price as such if you want to see it that way and get experience or whatever it might be. You may have to suffer I mean, in some ways because of your choices. But it's better to follow yourself, I believe, than follow others a lot of the time. So myself, just from one, just from one angle, I can, I can use many examples. But for one example, is my teaching when I'm teaching massive groups of students, so in the college here, young adults, and I'm, I'm teaching them here in China as a teacher. It can be hard sometimes, but you have to take charge of yourself. But not not to say like to be a leader or a teacher of everybody. But I'm saying even in yourself. Because you can follow your bosses, you can follow other people who start telling you all of their ideas. I've got bosses and stuff, you know, of people in the ma managers in the building over there who are always wise and mouthing off, you know, coming up again. Oh, you should do this, you, do, you should do that. And um, sometimes if you follow others, how can you be a leader to yourself? Even you can't do anything good if you're not in balance. So people are trying to push you and pull you from different angles in whatever you do in life. You may not be a teacher, but whatever you might be doing in your life, and anywhere you go, taking a journey or whatever, you have to be focused. Otherwise, you'll find yourself lost in this world. So I understand what I'm saying when I'm saying it. I've got a thing. You always have to revise, review what you're saying, what you're thinking, and practice and focus, and practice yourself. And you have to take charge of yourself. Learn from your steps you make. You know, if you if you feel you made a mistake or you could have done something better, you know, learn from what you're doing. But don't always keep changing or being disheartened, you know, or changing your way because oh something might happen or someone's you know, uh, you know, going against you or whatever. No, you've got to say, look, self-respect. No matter what other people think of you, if they want to disrespect you, look down upon you. You have to respect yourself. And if you're not doing anyone any harm and or yourself and you're trying to do good, at the end of the day, communication is key. People don't want to communicate. Some people, they don't want to, or they want to just tell you, you need to change your way of thinking or change your way of being or speaking or listening or whatever. That's up to them. But you need to understand yourself in what you do in your life and who you are, how you think, what you want to do with your life. You just have to. You just absolutely have to, okay? So I'm going to stop this video now by just finishing on that point there that self-respect is most important, I believe, okay? Because if you, if you follow other people too much in this life, you get yourself very, very confused and lost even more so. Okay, I don't know if you can understand me. Maybe you've had some experiences in your life where everything's been going okay for you and you've come up against challenges, because we all do. When we try to be ourselves, it's even harder sometimes. You, know, you want to adapt. You feel like you need to adapt and change yourself to the situation to fit in. But sometimes 
there's a lot of messed up, lost, misguided people in this world and they're misguided in themselves and they'll follow the wrong people and they'd rather give you advice. They'll be the first one to tell you you should change this or do this or that about yourself. But you need to be focused in yourself and listen and be humble and listen to other people's ideas and work communications about listening as well as speaking. But if you're having to take charge of something like your money, your time, I don't know, what you want to do with your life, you know, your time, your... Your, how you, um, where you're going to go, how you make journeys, how much free time you've got, how you use your time, how you take charge of a situation, how you're going to cook a meal, how you're going to teach a class if you're, if you're a teacher, let's say. You have to still focus and you have to understand and respect, even if it isn't going well on the outside, but in the inside you have to understand that you've got to take charge of your mind because once that's gone, you've got nothing, okay? So I'm going to stop this video here. Thanks for watching. Focus. Communicate with others. You know, be strong in yourself and always remember, you know, to strive for better communication with people and um, always just, f you have to follow your mind, you have to follow, you know, and be focused in, and respect your own mind and yourself. Thanks for watching. Trade Arms and Stay Safe. More videos to come.